Well, David, look at this. Yeah. Rookie season, number one contenders match. How, how are you feeling today? This is this isn't going to be easy. These two competitors are very good, but you've proven yourself. That's why you're here. What do you think? I, I'm definitely honored to be here for this. Um, but you know, to be honest, of course, I feel pretty nervous to play these two guys. Um, I know definitely they're really good. Uh, Matt, I never played before, but he's always higher high seating. I've seen his matches. He's very very good. Joseph, of course. Uh, definitely is super super intelligent in movies so but yeah i mean definitely i'm just gonna try to play loose um have fun and always do my best so and, that, and that's all we ask if you have fun you always win the other two are great good luck to them but i'm, I'm feeling you today i'm feeling you i'm feeling good yeah. i'm just gonna rock it and kill it we'll do my best yeah there you go Whew. That last one was a close one, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do better in order to be two really, really great competitors this time in a triple threat. Uh, oh boy. Oh, and I also want to apologize for saying that I've never played, that I've never played Matt before in singles. Technically we have. It was the Game of Faction singles Warzone last year, but for some reason that slipped my mind. But anyway, yes, this is going to be a great rematch against both Matt and David because I have played them both uh yeah i just hope the questions go more my way because i want to win but let's have a great game okay yeah so uh here we are i don't really know exactly how i got here i mean uh these are two uh scary good competitors that i'm going up against tonight so i'm sure it's going to be a uh, one hell of a match um so it should be really entertaining and we'll uh, see what happens i know we all want to win and get on to that uh next match to get a chance at the uh title so i only want to get there though so we'll see what happens hello everybody and welcome back to multiplex movie war zone i'm your host caleb Bowman, and today we've got a good match for you uh this is the number one contender triple threat match uh many people fought their way to try to get here but these three came out on top to try to face andrew barr should be interesting uh, the three people in the match are Matt Quaylar, David Nishimoto, and Chris Volos. Payson, thoughts on the match? I'm, yeah, I'm super excited for this match. I think all three of these guys have had very different careers in multiplex. This is David's first season uh, really competing in trivia. Joseph, he's been competing for many years, but this is like essentially his first season in Warzone, and Matt's been around for a long time, so I think this can be a really good match. Absolutely. Let's just bring in our competitors. Okay, so we're going to start off with round one. Round one's going to work like this. Eight different questions, eight different categories. You get them right. You have a question through reviews and a challenge. Uh, you can choose throughout the entire round. Uh, so, so, the first question, which comes in the category of mystery thriller. Arlie Ermine plays a police captain in what 90s thriller? I don't like that you left out the mystery in the mystery thriller category. That is, that is, that is understandable. Uh, I, I was thinking more for thriller, but yeah, you. Um, but the category in round one is mystery thriller. I, I should have thought about that more. I apologize. Three, two, one. It's an awful thing you did. You should you should feel terrible, Matt. Being fired tomorrow. Seven. Uh, David. Seven. And Joseph. It's one or the other. I said seven. Seven is correct. Your next question. Uh, we'll be coming to you in the category of drama. What is the profession of Steve McQueen's character in The Towering Inferno? Which Steve McQueen do you like more? Oh, I love this. I, I, I love the modern Steve McQueen's filmography so much. Like... Widows is very underrated. Shame's really I good. I prefer Lightning McQueen. Five, four, <laughs> three, two. Okay. Hands down. Let's go to Joseph. Firefighter. And David. Firefighter. And Matt. Firefighter. All correct. And we're getting to your next question, which comes in the category of animated. Name one of the two voice actors who voice Manolo and Joaquin, the two friends who fight for Maria's affection in the Book of Life. Who would write your Book of Life? 
Is is that like Death Note but in reverse? Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess, I guess it could be. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Matt. Shannon Tate. And David. Uh, I'll put Diggle in it. And uh, Joseph. Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum and Diego Luna is the other Ooh, one. Thank God. The guy. So all three competitors stand perfect. All right. Uh, now the fourth question. Yes, your fourth question will be coming to you in the category of directors. Who directed Interview with the Vampire, The Crying Game, and Michael Collins? I love that you just specified like interview with the vampire. I'm fantastic. The article. That is one of the most famous Mandela effects for me. I went my whole life thinking it was interview with a vampire, and then High five. I was wrong. Three, two, one. Pen down. Let's go to David. Neil Jordan and uh, Joseph. Neil Jordan and Matt. Yeah, some reason I'm gonna put Neil Berger. Neil Jordan is correct. So Matt, um, the first question here. We get your next question, which comes in the category of action adventure. What is the name of the mega corporation that turns Alex Murphy into RoboCop in 1987? RoboCop. And we will accept the abbreviation. Uh, I prefer Kick Puncher to RoboCop. Five, four, three. That one was one. Hands down. That's a community reference. Let's go to Joseph. OCP. And David. OCP. And Matt. No, I had Omnicorp. OCP is correct. I believe Omnicorp is what it's called in the remake. The remake. Yep. <laughs> All right, your sixth question will be coming to you in the category of classics. Which juror is the final juror to change his vote to not guilty in 12 Angry Men? Uh, you did not write this question. I did not, surprisingly yeah. enough. I, here's the thing. There have been quite a few 12 Angry Men questions written. I've not written most of them. Five, That's weird. Four, three. One. Pens down. Let's go to Matt. Juror number six. And David. Ten. And Joseph. Number three. Juror three is correct. Oh. The only one staying perfect as we get into your pen ultimate question in the category of actors and actresses. Who appears in the films Lost in Translation, Brokeback Mountain, and Observe and Report? But yeah, that uh, that twelve angry men question. It always just has me thinking, like, okay, which one is? I forgot what I was about to say. Which one is Lee J. Cobb's character? Five, four, three, two, one. Ten down. Sorry, I had to keep the time. Uh, yeah. Let's go to Joseph. I think I'm done with my perfect round. I said Anna Ferris. And David. Giovanni Brubisi. And Matt. I said Michael Pena. Anna Ferris. Yeah. Is I forgot he was chosen. And your final question will be coming to you in the category of comedy. What is the first name of Steve Carell's character in Bruce Almighty? How'd you like Bruce Springsteen? Oh, uh, Bruce Springsteen is nice. He uh he played in the Super Bowl when the Cardinals lost, so it was kind of sad. It's his first name, right? Sorry. Yes. Okay. Three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to David. Well, there's a movie about him too, uh, Evan. And Matt. Evan. And Joseph for the perfect round. Evan. Evan is correct. So I will be giving you your bonus question. Good job, Joseph. What decade does Jungle Cruise take place in? Five, four, three. 1920s? That is incorrect. Off by a decade, the 1910s. 
So uh, we have Joseph at eight, David at six, Matt at four. Is, what, is that what you have, Payson? Uh, eight, six, four. Yes, yes, that is exactly what I have. Okay, all evens as we get into round number two. Round two is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get a chance to spin the wheel. If they like what they spin, they can keep it. If they don't, they can spin again, but then they're stuck with it. They're going to get five questions in whatever category they get. They get right two points, multiple choice, one point. Uh, if they uh, get it wrong, then the other team gets a chance for the steal as I attempt to bring up the wheel. And we're good. Okay. So, Joseph, you are in the lead. Okay, Joseph, uh, you will get to choose what you want to spin or defer. Categories on our wheel tonight are David Strengths of post-1980 American Football and Sandra Bullock. Uh, Matt Strengths of uh, post-1980 Horror and 90s. Uh, Joseph Strengths of directed by Michael Mann and Wes Anderson. We also have Classics and Oscars. So, David, would you like to spin first or defer? Uh, Joseph. Uh, Joseph. Joseph. Sorry, excuse me. Joseph, would you like to spin first or defer? I am going to go first. Okay. This will be your first spin. And you land on Oscars. Would you like to that or spin again? I will keep it, please. Okay, Joseph, your first question in the category Oscars. Before his win for The Father, what was the last film that Anthony Hopkins received a nomination for? The Two Popes. That is correct for two points for the two popes. A point for uh, your next question. How many films from the 2000s won Best Picture but not Best Director? One. Three. Uh, three is correct. Hey, Joseph, your next question in Oscars. What non-U.S. film won Best Original Screenplay for films released in 2002? Talk to her. That is correct for two points. Along with his Best Original Score win for Titanic, James Horner earned a Best Original Song nomination for what animated film? Five. Four. Three. Multiple choice, two. please. Multiple choice options are A, An American Tale, B, Anastasia, C, The Last Unicorn, D, Dinosaur. An American Tale? That is correct for one point. And your final question. Actor Steve McQueen received his only Oscar nomination for what film? Can you repeat that, please? You, cut, you were cutting out a little bit. Actor Steve McQueen received his only Oscar nomination for what film? Five. Multiple choice, please. Your multiple choice options are A, Papillion, B, The Great Escape, C, The Sand Pebbles, D, Soldier in the Rain. A? A is incorrect. Uh, Matt and David, for the one-point steal, your options are A, Papillion, B, The Great Escape, C, The Sand Pebbles, D, Soldier in the Rain. Five. 
four, three, two, one. Matt. I went with uh, B. And David. I want to see. C is correct. So, David getting the score up to 15. Uh, Matt no, still me. Again, oh, I'll him. Him. <laughs> I meant Joseph. I said the wrong word. I had the right thing on my board. He accidentally gave me the points. Don't, too, don't offend know. Joseph. <laughs> Joseph got his score up to 15. David at 7. Matt at 4. Uh, as we get into the next round, uh, David, you are in second. I'll bring Anthony in. Would you like to spin or defer? Uh, I mean, it's all up to you. Kind of going in the middle here it gives you an idea. You know what you need to do to catch Joseph, or you can see how Matt does, see what you need to do with that. Uh, but we already know what Joseph did. He's already in the lead. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, th I think I kind of want to see what Matt does first. So I'll, I'll defer. I think. That works. Yeah, I'll defer. Okay, Matt, this is going to be your spin. Is uh, Thomas the backstage? Oh. oh. I didn't know he's here. Hey. Oh. <laughs> okay. Tom, uh, Matt, this is your spin. And you land on Wes Anderson. Would you like to take that or spin again? How you feeling, man? <sighs> I mean, it's not the worst thing on there, but... Uh, I agree, but with the score, I think you need to swing big here, so... Yeah. I, it, it's up to you, but... I mean, yeah, I mean, no good, no glory. Let's go ahead and spin again. All right. This is the category you are stuck with. And you land on opponent's choice. Uh, so, uh, Matt and David, you can even decide we will bring... Uh, Anthony in. And just, uh, sorry, Goldman. Joseph and David. I know I did the wrong thing. <laughs> Joseph and David, you get to decide. Uh, so uh, time starts now. I don't. Can you uh, go down, please, for the? Let's see what there is. Yeah, I'll read please. you out the categories, and then your one minute to decide will start kicking uh, after I finish reading. Uh, post uh, 1980 American football, directed by Michael Mann. 1980 horror classics, 90s Sandra Bullock and Wes Anderson. David and Anthony. Yeah. Anthony, how do you feel about it? Classics, giving him classics. Yeah, I mean, classics is the only non uh, strength. Right. I, I, I think I know. I know that's, yeah, it's only non strength. I know uh, Joseph's going to be a little stronger than yeah. you might be, David, but it also kind of takes off the wheel for your I'm, spin. Yeah, so. I want to. I was, because I didn't want to say if you want to give one of your strengths, because, like, I don't know what, how you would feel about that. I, th I think right. I'm, I'm if, Jay, if you're good with classics, I'm good with classics. Uh, and there's because I'll go with classics. I want to, I'll take it out of the wheel. Yeah, yeah that works. all right. Classics, yeah. please. Okay. Jason, uh, you want to give uh, Matt his questions in classics? Absolutely. Matt, your first question in the category of classics What is Jack Nicholson's character's profession in Easy Rider? He's a lawyer. That is correct for three points. Is three points? Oh. I'll take him. Two points. Two points. Okay. Your second question. What 1941 horror film stars Spencer Tracy and Ingrid Bergman? Uh, let's go multiple choice. Your multiple choice options, is it A, the Telltale Heart, B, the Black Hat, C, the Mummy's Hand, or D, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? I'm sorry, you say Black Hat or Black Cat? A Black Cat. Let's go Black Cat. That's unfortunately incorrect. Uh, David and Joseph, your multiple choice options, is it A, the Telltale Heart, B, the Black Cat, C, The Mummy's Hand, or D, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? And David, we need both hands on screen, please. Oh, sorry. Right. Right Five, four, three, two, one. 
Pens down. Let's go to David. A. And Joseph. I said D. 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 Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Okay. Sure. Okay. Your third question. Who plays ex-con Dix Handley in the Asphalt Jungle? Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options. Is it A, Joseph Cotton, B, Kirk Douglas, C, Sterling Hayden, or D, William Holden? Uh, a. That's unfortunately incorrect. David and Joseph, a chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, Joseph Cotton, B, Kirk Douglas, C, Sterling Hayden, or D, William Holden? Four, three, two, one. Let's go to Joseph. I said Sterling Hayden. And David. Could be. Uh, Sterling, Sterling Hayden is correct. Uh, was that B? Uh, no, it was not. So Sterling Hayden is correct. Only uh, Matt, your penultimate question, Cadre Classics. How is Riff killed in West Side Story? Uh, he's stabbed. That is correct for two points. Totally knew that. And your final question in the category of classics. In what kind of transportation do Peter and Ellie meet in It Happened One Night? A train. That is incorrect. Uh, David and Joseph, a chance for a two-point steal. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to David. Bless. And Joseph. Bus. Bus is correct. No land trains. So, uh, I have uh, Joseph currently at 19, David at 8, and Matt at 7. That way you have... No, I do it at 9. I got 9. Okay. Okay. Yes. I got 9, right? Yeah, I said 8, right? I said 8. Joseph is at 19. Oh, Matt's at 8? Oh, Matt is at 8. Yep, you're right. So as we get into David's pen. Quiet like that. That was weird. All right. David, your spin. Oh. And you also land on opponent's choice, so we will take Anthony out and we will bring Thomas in. So, Matt, Joseph, uh, you get to uh, deliberate on what you would like to give David. Uh, the, your options are post-1980 American football, directed by Michael Mann, post-1980 horror, uh, 90s, Sandra Bullock, and Wes Anderson. I'm okay I'm, with give, uh, Go ahead, sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Where were we saying? Uh, I was going to suggest uh, post-1980 horror because I feel like that's the broadest one. Okay, I'm okay with that. I like that idea. Go for it. Okay. Okay, post-1980 horror, please. Okay. I will take up Thomas. Okay. Uh, I will give you uh, your questions in post-1980 horror, David. In Split... What is the name of Kevin's personality that takes the form of a young boy? Oh my God. Five, four, three. Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Wendell, B, 
Hedwig, C. Donnie, D. Riker. Hedwig? Hedwig is correct for one point. Okay. Next question. Who plays the man revealed to be the Gemini killer in The Exorcist 3? Brad Dorif. That is correct for two points. Next question. In what horror film will you find a demon named Payman who terrorizes the family central to the film? Heredity. Uh, hereditary. Hereditary. Sorry. That is correct for two points. Yeah. Okay. Hereditary. Okay. And your penultimate question, in Scream 3, Parker Posey's character is playing which previous Scream character in Stab 3 when we need first and last name? Gail Weathers. That is correct for two points. And finally, what is the name of the titular camp in Sleepaway Camp? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Camp Nakamoon, B, Camp Arawak, C, Camp Malabu, or D, Camp Navidi. Repeat the options. Okay. A, Camp Nakamoon. B, Camp Arawak. C, Camp Malalu. D, Camp Navidi. Sounds like an ironic name. Uh, B, as in boy. B is correct for one point. Uh, so that does conclude David's round. Uh, I have him at 17. Is that what you have in that, Payson? That is what I have, yes. Uh, I have Joseph at 19 and Matt at 8. So I believe. With that, Matt can not mathematically catch up to David. Or to yeah, Joseph. To Joseph, <laughs> yeah. Cannot mathematically catch up to Joseph. So Matt is eliminated via knockout. Uh, so. We will be going to round three with just David and Joseph. The categories they will be able to pick from are sports, Brad Pitt, Tim Burton, animated directors, comic book movies, Oscars, family, and 2000s. We're going to let them pick the categories right now, and we'll get back to you right now. Okay, we are back, and it is just David and Joseph. Uh, David has selected, our competitors have selected what they want for their one their and winner. David has selected his one in Burton, his two in Family, his three in Sports, and his four in Directors, where Joseph has selected one in Animation, his two in Directors, his three in Burton, his four in Oscars. So, uh, since David is down by two points, we'll start with him for his one pointer in Tim Burton. Uh, and, uh, your one pointer in Tim Burton, David, is Albert Finney plays the older version of Ewan McGregor's character in what Tim Burton film? Big Fish. Big Fish is correct. <clears throat> and your two-pointer to take the lead. Who plays 14-year-old Jason Shepard in Big Fat Liar? Frankie Muniz. That is correct for two points. Malcolm in the middle of himself. As we go over to Joseph for his one pointer in animation. Uh, yes, Joseph, your one pointer in the category of animated. 
Who voices Tigress in the Kung Fu Panda franchise? He's, um, you cut out a little bit. You said Tigress in the Kung Fu Panda franchise. Yes. Angelina Jolie. That is correct for one point. Okay, so we're still tied, so we will stick with Joseph for his two. Yes, uh, Joseph, your two-pointer will be coming to you in the category of directors. Who directed All the President's Men? Alan J. Pakula. That is correct for two points. So, so we will go over to David for his three in sports. In Major League, Jake Taylor is a veteran catcher who has spent a few years playing in which international baseball league? Five, four, three. Repeat. Okay. I believe that is David's first repeat. Yep. In Major League, Jay Taylor is a veteran catcher who has spent a few years playing in which international baseball league? Japan? That is incorrect. We're looking for the Mexican League. So, we will stick with David for his four-pointer in directors. If he hits, that sends it over to Joseph to force him to answer some more questions. If not, Joseph does win the match. So, David, your four in directors. Melvin and Howard, Something Wild, and Married to the Mob were all directed by whom? Five, four, three, two. Repeat. That is your second repeat. Melvin and Howard, Something Wild, and Married to the Mob were all directed by whom? Four, three, two, repeat. One, as your last repeat. Melvin and Howard, Something Wild, and Married yeah. to the Mob were all directed by whom? Good game, Joseph. Um, Arthur Hiller. And your winner. And moving on to play Andrew Barr for the title, the correct answer is Jonathan Demi. Oh, Jonathan right. Demi. Joseph Olavas does win the match. So, going post match interviews, we will start with our third place finisher tonight, uh, Matt Queller. Matt, if I can find him on the thing. Uh, Matt having the third place on his board. Uh, he he kind of got. Stuck with a, a rough category in round two after not the greatest round one, and that's kind of how the whole thing turned out. How are you feeling overall? I mean, I, mean, the, I knew that it was going to be a tough match. These are two great competitors. I mean, I knew pretty much it was going to come down to who spun what in round two, and uh, I kind of was coming from behind, so I really needed to make up for some points, so I had to take that second spin, and it backfired. But, hey, they uh, played a great match, and I look forward to seeing what uh, Joseph does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty much. Well, we will now go over to normally Thomas has more to say. We will now go over to second place finisher David. David, I think I don't want to like obviously this was a loss and like everything, but I don't want to like have anything overshadow how great of a season you have had. Like seriously, rookie season. This is like a top tier like rookie season. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank all, you. all around. Uh, 
you know, uh, really just came down to some some different things. Maybe something you might have done differently in hindsight. But overall, uh, excellent match. Uh, um, I mean, yeah, there are some questions I wish I had back. There's, I mean, in the first round, there's two that, that was answerable for me, and I just missed. I'm just missed the thought of that. And then the second round, yeah, I was in a deep hole. Uh, I didn't think I was going to do that well with horror, but uh, yeah, luckily I had the good good questions. And the third third round, the sports one, uh, really, I did not even think about. I mean, never seen that movie in a while, so so. Um, yeah, just tough questions in the last, but Joseph played great. Uh, great you match. Regret giving, you regret Greg giving Matt classics yes. the opponent's choice because that may have helped that Joe definitely, in terms of skills. Yeah, it definitely helped. Uh, thank, I was lucky for that one. But yeah, I mean, great season. I, you know, I came here to play, have fun, play trivia, show people what I, what I got, and yeah, I think I did my job. You did. You had a great season. Uh, this is nothing to look down on. You did. Horror was the one we didn't want, and you still crushed it. You did really well. Giving classics is tough, but either we're giving them um, yeah. one of your strengths and possibly taking off the board, giving one of Joseph's strengths already, or giving Matt one of his strengths when he's wearing a horror shirt. So not really. You can't really do that. But you've played great all season. You played great today. You're going to be coming back for a singles belt next year. There's no doubt in my mind. And uh, I'm, I'm happy you're on you're on the fun game, Sam, because – Thank you. You're awesome. So, yeah. good job. I want one more shot with Joseph in the future for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Well, now we're going over to our winner, Joseph. Joseph, you won the match, and you will be facing Andrew Barr. How are you feeling? We couldn't have gotten that director's question in our team's match, uh, but no. Uh, oh, this is a relief. <laughs> I'm looking forward to to play against Andrew. Uh, I really hope to, you know, have a great show for the end of the year. Club Dread representing in that, in that match, keeping it within the faction of the singles belt. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I feel, I feel kind of bad that, um, that Matt didn't like get to play round three, but bad luck happens. I was... This match was a lot of luck for me because both of my opponents got opponent's choice. We all got categories that began with O, and I was the only one that didn't get opponent's choice. So that was major luck for me, kind of. But at the same time, I'm really, really, really happy to get to the to the singles title belt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we will be we will be excited to see you there. Uh, so thank you to Joseph. Now we're going back to Payson at the desk. Payson, final thoughts on the match? Yeah, I think that was a great match. Um, it was unfortunate that Matt did have to had, had a, like get knocked out early, but when you get a struggle with a bad category, that's what happens, and then it was close until the end, right at the end of round three. So I think this was a really good triple threat. Absolutely. Well... Thank you to David. Thank you to Joseph. Thank you to Matt. Thank you to their managers. Uh, this has been Multiplex Movie Wars. I'm thinking of Payson. I'm Caleb Bill Bowman. Thanks for watching. Bye bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye bye. bye.